Dumplings for Lily by Melissa E.Y. It's a special day when Nai Nai says, Lily, do you want to help me make bows? Yes, of course. I say yes. Bows are bundles of warm, doughy, juicy yumminess. They are my favorite food in the whole world. I love making them. My Nai Nai taught me all the secrets to happy and delicious bows. Secret number one. Mix the flour, yeast, sugar, oil, and water together to let them make friends. Secret number two. Knead the dough lovingly but firmly until it is as smooth as a baby's cheek. Let it take a cat nap in a warm place while you make the filling. Step number three. Thank the filling. Thank the filling ingredients for growing strong and healthy as you mince and grate them. Secret number four, shake the wok energetically and watch the filling dance with joy. Secret number five, make a hole in the center of the dough and squeeze and pull it to make a large ring. Carefully cut it into cute mini logs. Secret number six, roll the logs into golf ball shapes while humming to them. Then roll these into round discs. Secret number seven, the most important and most difficult, Gently spoon filling onto the dough. Coax it into the center and wrap it up snugly in its doughy blanket, pinching edges at least 10 times and gathering it at the top. The last secret, secret number eight, is to line the basket with cabbage leaves before steaming so that the bow babies don't stick to the bottom. Zalga, Nanai Nana explains, we are out of cabbage. Nai Nai asked me to see if Bacha on the sixth floor of our building has any cabbage we can use. Kiki and I said we'll be right back and rush out to the elevator. Out of service. Oh no. We skip up the five flight of stairs to Bacha's apartment. Lily! exclaims Bacha. Of course I have cabbage for your bows. She hands me a giant head in a bag but I was just about to make pierogi before you came and do licha. My potatoes are growing little sprouts out of their eyes, she said. Suddenly, her face lights up. Do you think you could do me a favor and borrow some potatoes from grandma on the second floor? No problem, Bacha. We'll be right back. I call out as Kiki and I hop down the, floor, the four flights of stairs to grandma's apartment. Howdy-do, Lily, Grandma says and gives me a big hug. Of course I have some potatoes for Bacha's pierogi, she says. She hands me two large ones. But I was in the middle of making beef patties when, cha, I noticed my garlic is all shriveled and wrinkled, she sighs. Would you be a dear and ask if Abuela on the fourth floor would lend me some fresh garlic? I could never say no to Grandma, so Kiki and I trot back up the stairs to give Bacha her potatoes and we gallop down two flights to Abuela's apartment. Hola, Lily, says Abuela. She's happy to lend Grandma a whole head of fresh garlic. As Kiki and I are about to leave, she says, Oh, cielos, I'm out of cumin. How will I finish making my tamales? I remember that Nona on the third floor has lots of spices in her kitchen. Don't worry, Abuela, I say. Kiki and I will go ask Nona for cumin. We run downstairs to Grandma's to give her the head of garlic. Then off we go to Nona's. Buongiorno, Lily, Nona says, dusting off her hands. We go inside to Nona's cozy kitchen. She searches in her cupboard for a jar of cumin. Cumin I have, says Nona. Here, give this to Abuela. Cavoli, she explains. I am all out of olive oil. How will I make a sauce for my ravioli? Kiki and I exchange glances. Lily, can you do me a big favor and ask Teta upstairs if she has some olive oil to spare? I trudge up to the fourth floor to give the cumin to Abuela. Kiki watches. Gracias, mi amor, says Abuela. 
Then it's up to the fifth to Teta's. Teta's kitchen smells heavenly. She is making fatia. She gives me some olive oil to take to Nona. Kiki and I take a deep breath. Down the stairs we fly to Nona. Nona is happy she can finish making her ravioli. I just want to finish making our bow. We clatter all the way back down to the ground floor. I tell Nai Nai all about our adventures while we tuck our baby bows into the steamer basket lined with Bacha's cabbage leaves. Later, we go outside. We bring our freshly steamed bow. The other grandmothers come with their little dumpling treasures. Bapcha with her pierogi, Grandma with her beef patties, Abuela with her tamales, Nona with her ravioli, Teta with her fatia. It's a big dumpling party. And the best treasure of all, Mama and Papa come home with my new baby brother. Now I have another little dumpling treasure. This is the recipe for Nai Nai's bows. The end.